What's going on everyone? You're welcome once again to David Data Channel. And on today's video, we are going to be continuing our video on data models, data modeling series. And we're going to be talking about conceptual data modeling. In our previous videos, we talked about what data model is all about, the types of data modeling, and also the core components of a data model. In today's video, we're going to be looking at what a conceptual model is all about and how you can build one for your business using an e-commerce business as a case study. If this is your first time, thank you so much for stopping by. I'd like you to please hit the like button and the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you can be notified once a new video drops in. And if you're a returning viewer, thanks so much for coming. Your presence here means a lot and encourages me to build up more content that are valuable to you. All right, so let's hit the ground running in today's video. What is a conceptual data model? A conceptual data model is a high-level representation of a business data, the entities, attributes, and relationships between those entities. For a conceptual data model, you are not interested in the technical details about the model. You are not interested in how data will be stored or database involved. You are just trying to understand on a very high level the entities in this business, the requirements, their attributes, and how they are related among themselves. Now, let's look at this briefly using an e-commerce business, for example. The first thing you want to do when building an, a conceptual data model is to first of all identify the entities of your business. Now, think about an e-commerce business like I mentioned. What are the core entities of an e-commerce business? You know, you have a customer, you have the products, you have the orders, you have the payment, you have all, and you also have the reviews, as the case may be. Now, these are the entities you have identified for this e-commerce business. The next thing you want to go ahead to do is to identify the attributes of each of these entities. Now let's jump over to my screen so I can show you some of this much more detail. For our e-commerce business, the next thing we want to look at is just try to identify the attributes of those entities. So like I mentioned, we have the customer, you have the products, the orders, the payments and the reviews. Now, for the conceptual data model, like I mentioned, you're not interested in the database is going to be stored, the table names and stuff like that, the um, data type for each of the columns. You just want to just understand on a very high level, right? And their relationships. So, for example, so for a customer entity, the attributes would be a customer name, customer email, customer phone number, customer address, as the case may be. For all that, you would have the order dates, the status, the quantity, you know. For products, you have the product name, product description, product price. For payments, entities, you're going to have the payment dates, payment method, payment amount. And for reviews, you're going to have um, review dates, review text, and ratings. Now, basically, these are the entities and their attributes. And you also want to now understand on a high level their relationships. So, what are the relationships between these entities? So, you know that a customer would always make an order. And many customers, or rather, one customer can have several orders right and they also want the relationship between the order and the products you know that there are several orders could have many orders could have many products and many products could also have many orders this kind of relationships what a relationship between the orders and payments a relationship between the um what's it called the customer and payments or customer and reviews so basically your the goal of your conceptual data model is to understand all these things on a very high level on that identify the entities identify the attributes and identify on a high level the relationships between these entities knowing that a customer would make several payments um an order could have an order would always have have a payment uh, a customer would have a, a review several reviews a product would have several reviews and stuff like that so basically this is re really just the goal of your conceptual data model so as we just illustrated there are several techniques for building a conceptual data model but the most popular technique is the entity relationship diagram, which is what we used that uses boxes and lines to show the entities, the attributes, and also the relationship using the lines. Um, the notation we used was the crow foot notation that shows the relationships using a one-to-one -one or a one-to-many or a many-to-many, -many, as the case may be, for the relationship between the entities. Conceptual data modeling is an important part or step in your, in your data modeling process for your organization as it helps you to understand the requirements for the business and also provides a roadmap for designing your database. In our next video, we're going to be talking about logical data model. For this one, I hope you got a thing or two out of this video. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.